full sections. It's easier like this. Now, I'm putting on some gloves. Anytime you work with bleach, you should always wear gloves. And I'm using the 40 Zilpa. And I'm using the 2BW2 um, bleach, and bleach powder. It's very self-explanatory. There's a lot of videos on how to mix it together. The packet tells you. So... I'm using hair coloring for you for the for my highlighting. You can use regular for you, it really doesn't matter. So now I'm just taking a part of one of the sections that our previous section into a smaller section, and I'm going to take every other hair and highlight highlight every other hair because I still want the the one B two. I still want that color to be because that's like my natural color and I just want the purple to be more like a highlighted effect. You'll understand later on on how it's gonna look, but yeah. So now I'm just applying the bleach to the hair. Make sure you apply the bleach front and back. I didn't show me applying it to the back, but I did. So just make sure so it could bleach fully through. And I'm just repeating the steps. And I'm gonna repeat the steps again. So now this is me checking the hair. It's really not as as bleach as I want it to be, so I just wrapped it back up. And then once it was up to my liking, I just rinsed it out. I washed it, shampooed it, and everything, deep conditioned it. And now I'm taking uh, taking my blow dryer on low, and I'm gonna dry it. So the first color I'm using is the Ultra Violet, the Manic Panic brand. The second color I'm using is Purple Haze and the same Manic Panic brand. You can purchase all these items that I'm using in this video from Sally's or your local juice bar store. So now just make sure your hair is fully dry before you apply any um, color to your hair. Just better like that. So I applied the color to everywhere I saw blonde basically. Everywhere the hair was bleached, that's why I applied the color to. Or it really, I just, it really didn't matter. But I just made sure I colored the blonde off. I didn't want my hair to be black and blonde. I wanted it to be black and purple. That was my color scheme. So I just eyeball it. I really didn't know. I really didn't know how to apply the purple. I just know I wanted my hair purple. So I just played with it. Basically, I just really played with it. Like the first, the first one I did, I used the purple haze on the bottom, and I used the ultraviolet on top. And then now I'm using pur purple haze on top, and I'm using the ultraviolet on the bottom. I just didn't know how I wanted to play it out, but it worked out. See, I'm just making sure I just co color covered that blonde with purple. That, that was my whole scheme. I just really didn't know. I just eyeball it. Just, just, I mean, just have fun with it. I mean, just have fun, I'm guessing. I did. 
So the results of my hair, I really liked it. I liked the results. I didn't have, like what I said, I didn't have no scheme. I really didn't know how I wanted the purple, but I just know I wanted it to be more like a highlighter effect. And that's what I came up with, and it kind of worked out. My hair was black and purple throughout the hair. My roots stayed black. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any comments, please leave it below. And I'll talk to you guys later.